Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day today. Over the last like month you guys have been asking for me to do an updated bag tour. So I figured today was a really good day to get all dolled up and then do an updated bag. There's really no particular order in which I'm going to be sharing the bags with you guys. I will say I will um, link the previous bag haul video at the end of this video. That way you guys can kind of catch that up. I don't think I've sold anything from that collection, but if I have, you'll kind of get to see how my bags like have evolved over the years, I believe. This is like the third video and like the very first video that I ever did. I don't think I have any of those bags. So I will say that if you are in the market for a new handbag, to definitely do a little bit of research, figure out exactly what is it you like. And I'm sure it's gonna take a little bit of a process and you know, bad buys and good buys to figure out you know what your style is but for me i figured out that i really really do love top handle bags so whenever i buy a bag most of these bags are going to be top handles all right so let's go ahead and get started so the first bag that i'm going to be sharing with you guys is from louis vuitton in particular when i purchase handbags i do like to get them from louis i personally just love it i can consider the print to be a little bit more trendy but it is the traditional monogram what i really loved about this bag is that it didn't have the vachette this is actually a black leather so i didn't have to worry about it um doing the patina the biggest thing for me when i purchase a handbag is for it to be as um as dainty and as rough as i am so i can be really really girly but then i can be really um hard and when i say hard you know throw my bag over my shoulders go look for some paint go pick up wood like i can do all of that so this bag here is called the vanity pm again i love the hardware i even like the uh the chain detail i will say seeing this chain detail kind of turned me off just a tiny bit from chanel because the chain detail here is so well thought out so if you look at it it has like a double braid on there which is like so so nice and in comparison to like the chanel and mind you i get that this is a wallet on the chain the wallet on the chain in comparison to this is like night and day um i would have to check my mom's handbag because i'm not 100 percent sure what her jumbo strap I don't remember how it feels or how it looks like, but I was definitely impressed by um, the chain. Um, it does come off. I've never really taken it off, but it does come off if you just want to wear it like this. I've only worn the bag twice. And when you unzip it, the interior lining is black. So I really do love that detail. Also, it's a really great bag. I wanted to buy smaller handbags because I am a very petite person i am five feet i have 134 pounds so i like crossbodies small dainty bags i like to hold my bags in the crook of my arms i really really like this bag a whole lot and i feel like i'm gonna get a good wear out of it if you want to create this in a like a cheaper version you can do the i can't think of the name of the bag but it looks just like this but it's just the monogram and the top is the vachette and you can just take the chain or buy a chain and add it here. I just wanted this. I didn't want to have to um, do that with another bag, okay? So that's that. This next bag here is the Louis Vuitton Lucky BB. I really do love this bag. It's a very, very cute bag. Super small, very dainty. The uh, interior lining is also light blue and the strap is also blue. I just didn't want the straps to get all like crazy so I did opt to just take it off and put it in the handbag. One of the things that I really do love is the lock detail in front of the bag. I think that is absolutely beautiful. I love the blue detail. Uh, this bag does come in other colors. There is a black, there's a pink, there's a red, there's the blue. I don't know why I'm thinking like yellow or orange. I'm not 100% sure. The only other color that I felt like I would probably be a little bit more attracted to was the pink, but I don't really wear a lot of pink, so I didn't feel like that would be a good um, option. And then the black one, but then it's like, 
most of my bags are kind of like in the black so i wanted to do something a little bit different this is actually really really cute when i wear like a cute white top some jeans and just like some slides this goes really really nice especially in the summer just the light blue color in general so again this is the locky bb okay so this bag here is another bb but this is the lori vuitton alma bb now a few years ago and i will say like seven years ago i was like gung-ho on getting the gm but then when i seen it in the store the bag is about as big as i am so it looked like a weekender so i guess if i wanted a weekender then that would be cute this bag does have a strap for the crossbody again i just took them off when i moved i didn't you know fix them i left them the way that they were when i unboxed them and put them back in my closet and it also has a nice little tag and the keys inside to lock and unlock the bag and i love the red detail it does have the feet underneath it i could probably see myself owning another one of these but i'm not in the market for a new bag so this is what we're dealing with right now <laughs> Okay, so the next bag, you guys, which I really do love, this is the Le Vuitton Damien et Bien, which is the print corset. I really do love this bag. When you're unlocking it, you press these little two buttons here, and voila! The inside is a red fabric lining, and so it has a very small um, tassel detail, which you can take off. This is the back. This is just like a really cute crossbody bag. I really do love it. I would consider this to be like an everyday crossbody because it actually fits quite a bit because the bottom is such a wide shape. I want to show you guys something really quickly, which I didn't share. So with this Locky BB, the sides fold inside, right? So if you wanted to, like you had more items, you push the sides out and you can get a little bit more with inside this bag to show you guys what that looks like and so i do feel like you're getting a pretty decent sized bag because you see that how it opens up on the sides here so you see you fold it back inside and it goes back in just kind of wanted to show you that so it does fit my wallet pretty nicely in here also comfortably all right so you guys this one here is the calfskin chanel and the bag is the ballerine so on my hunt to purchase a chanel bag i knew that i was on a budget i knew how much i wanted to spend and i wanted to find something that was going to be a little bit different unique and so i ended up finding this beauty here i really do love it because this right here is really uh my color combo of attire it's black in like the camel or nude Again, when you open up the bag, it has a really, really nice black interior and then the burgundy inner lining here. It does come with a card, the straps. The only thing that I would say is I'm trying to see if I can find something so that way I can grab the chain and somehow, I don't know, somehow get it to kind of lock like this. So I can do a little top handle situation. Let me just show you guys because I think it's super cute. I thought this would be like super cute. So I guess that's a solution. I just tied it together um, left and right. Just tied it down. So this is the bag. Again, I really do love it. I wanted to add something in my closet that I hadn't seen a whole lot of people with. And I love the fact that it has the pocket in the back. So if I wanted to just kind of grab my debit card and just slide in there with some loose cash, I could. I've actually worn this bag quite a bit. I do love it. Um, I mean, if you're going to buy a bag, you want to wear it. So I definitely want to make sure that um, these buys are extremely well thought out. I'm 100% confident in the buy. That way I know that I'm going to wear it. This lovely beauty right here is the Laura Vuitton speedy 35 bandolier the bandolier is this guy right here and it has a strap honestly i was gonna sell this bag but then i thought to myself this would make a perfect weekender which is what i'm gonna be using it for because what it's been about four years or maybe three years since i've had this bag and i'm like this bag is way too big so instead of selling it, I've opted to just turn it into a weekender. I don't know about putting jeans in here, but I can definitely put in a couple of lounge things, toothbrush, toothpaste, and going about my business. Again, honestly, I think this is probably like 
most people's like either first or second buy into um, the brand. Would I recommend the bag now? Uh, probably not. Probably not. I thought I was doing something by purchasing the Bandelier, but honestly, I probably wouldn't purchase this bag again. Let me just say, at the time when I was looking at bigger handbags, I was also carrying like diapers, wipes, all these other extra things in my bag because my youngest son was younger. So at the time, having a bigger bag just seemed like the thing to do. So maybe I probably still would do it, but if it, this is a good mom bag for sure. The next bag, you guys, this is like an OG bag. I've had this bag for so long and I still love it, but I don't wear it as much. And this here is called the Laurent Vuitton B Gum, and it is in the Damier Event print. Again, you turn the little latch, it opens up, the interior is red. I do have it stuffed. This is actually one of the bags that got damaged in the move. I don't think I stuffed it properly because like being in the box for almost like what seven months this side here just got all like bent it won't go back the flaps were already kind of out but I don't know what happened now it's really kind of sticking out so I don't know I'm thinking about taking it to um, like a repair place to see if they can kind of make this lay back down and fix it I don't know how they're gonna do it but I haven't called, I think they're called something doctor or whatever. Um, there's somebody here on YouTube, her name is Nina. She taught, She got a bag repaired from them and um, I probably need to call to find if they can fix the bag but that was one of the bags that got a little bit of a beating in the move so. Um, the next one here, I bought it on consignment and they didn't have the name but I think it's called like a trunk case if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, I'm not 100% sure. It's very similar to the vanity, right? See that? Very similar to that. I paid to get the zipper changed, which they cleaned the bag, y'all. Got the zipper changed, they redid the stitching. I got the top strap repaired, got the hardware repaired also. And then um, when I went to go pick it up, they had heavily discounted it because um, I forgot what happened. I don't know if they took really long or I think I, I, you know what? I had asked for the top, this piece here to be repaired. I had asked for this to be repaired and they forgot. So when I went to pick up the bag, I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, the interior lining is going to be fixed. I'm going to be so excited. The bag is going to look brand new. And so I've seen the outside. It was gorgeous. I was like, yes. I opened the bag and I was like, what happened to the inside? And if you know me, I go from like a super high 10, geeked up, super excited to a zero real quick. Like, what happened? They gave me a really, really good discount. I actually ended up paying way less for all the repairs. So that was a plus. So I'm really excited because I got my bag repaired and I didn't have to do too much. What I use this bag for, which I'm not going to use it for that anymore. And if I do use it for that, I won't use it. Um... I won't fill it so much but this was my travel makeup case I would have my of course some Motrin or some Excedrin for my headaches I would do my makeup foundation um just like toiletry things would go in here and I think it was just extremely too heavy I forgot <laughs> I forgot to mention this is the epi print so this is a leather and like I really do love the bag I don't know if I would wear it as a purse out in public but I do love the bag I wish it had feet but it don't and you know what considering this bag is a consignment by whoever had it did keep the bag in just excellent condition so I do love it the next bag is the Louis Vuitton Kingsington again strap is inside of the bag all the bags have straps most of them right yes all of them do um, this is the Kingsington I really did love this bag. This was my take on the Neverfull. You guys have asked me before would I purchase the Neverfull and my answer is no. Not that I don't like the bag but my mom used the bag as a gym bag and she's been using the bag as a gym bag forever. So when I visualize that bag I see it as a gym bag. That's just again my personal perception on the bag. So I wouldn't purchase it because I don't need a gym bag. So I wanted something that had a little bit more structure at the time. 
and so when i saw the kids and 10 i was like oh my god it's perfect it has you know this compartment here this one and in the middle zip which is where i would probably keep like my um id debit card and things of that nature so i really do love the bag i actually lucked up because i saw this on my birthday a couple years ago and i believe it was only three inch drawer and at the time i think i purchased another bag and then i was like you know what i should get it and it was the last one so i ended up grabbing this bag i do love this bag also when i wear it i kind of put in the crook of my arm but you guys yeah i think i have a really really decent collection of handbags that um I'm just loving right now and they are definitely serving their purpose. Um, this bag right here you guys is another Speedy. This is a 35 in the Epi print. I do like this bag a whole lot. Um, I've gotten a pretty decent wear out of it. I'm going to be honest, I have not worn a bag in probably like two years. So um, if you're watching today's video, comment girl's best friend and i'll pick someone and i will ship it to you because i honestly haven't worn it um i'm not gonna give this because i do wear my benzos you guys have to get your own but i will gladly um gift the bag to someone it is in really good condition the interior has um packaging it is black lining um this was one of the bags that I purchased when I was trying to like figure out what I liked, figure out what I wanted. So then I ended up getting this bag. So it will make a good, you know, first or second bag if you're if you're interested. All right. So that's that. You guys, the next bag here is the Louis Vuitton on the go tote. And it is in the reverse print. You guys, I love this bag so much. I know originally when I was looking at it, I was like, y'all, I don't know. And at the time, the I don't know was coming from a place of nervousness because I know that I needed something for work, but the price was just like, wow. Um, I don't think I had ever spent that much on myself, like by myself. Um, for those of you guys who've been on my channel long enough, you know, my birthday would come around and, you know, my ex would give me some money. My mom would give me some money. And then I would take what I had and I would add it to the bag. So I've never actually spent like 2000 on a purse, like $1,500 on a purse, maybe 800 maybe 1000 maybe $1,200. So with this bag, this was like my first time. No, it wasn't my first. Well, the price point wise, this was my first time going in and just being like, I want this bag and like spending the money on it. So there was definitely a level of nervousness, but I had the money, but I was just like super hella nervous at the same time. So I use this bag. I'm so happy that I made the investment. The only negative that I have the bag is it's not super structured as I thought it would be. So like it has a little crease here. I don't know if you guys can see and like the crease here. And I have an organizer in here. And it's crazy because the organizer stopped right at the crease which doesn't help the situation any. So what I'm thinking about doing is reaching out to the person who makes these organizers. Because I have one inside. Maybe one of these I'll do like a what's in my bag. But see, I have the organizer inside. And look how bright red this thing is. It matches the interior lining. I'm going to see if she can go up about four more inches to see if it can kind of help structure the bag out. But I don't like the fact that it has the crease on there. It does have a shoulder strap, which I really do love because I'll put samples in here. I'll put like cut tile in here. I'll do trimmings in here. And it does hold everything. I love the bag. And as loud as the bag is, to me, it doesn't come across as being like loud tacky. I don't know if that makes any sense, but... It doesn't come across as being like loud and tacky. I don't think when I've walked out in public, I've worn it on this side. This side is always to my body. I've always worn it on this side here, which I think is a little bit more muted in terms of where I always run on this side. So this side is facing the public. The other side is facing me. And I will say out of all of my bags, this one here gets the most compliment. I would say this is like the, I told you guys the other bag was like the Neverfull. For me, this one is a good comp for the Neverfull. I do think, I don't know, don't hold me to it. I feel like I want this bag again, 
and I want it in the black but I do know someone told me the black one is pretty heavy by itself so that's the only thing that I've been hesitant about and I don't have a Louis store here so I can't just go inside and go look at it but I think maybe you know next year for Christmas if it's still around I may just invest in um, getting the black one and I say invest because this bag right now is actually being sold for $700 more than what it retails for in the store because it's been getting like um, sold out. So I guess if I could, if I sold it, I could sell it for what I bought it for. And I keep my bags in really good condition. I don't think I've lost out on any of the bags that I've purchased. Uh, for the most part, what I've sold, I've gotten back um, what I bought for it. This is going to be the very last, I guess, handbag accessory from um, my collection and this bag hopefully I'm saying the name right is Etuyer Voyage which is travel case or travel bag or something like that so I really really wanted a Pachat and they were sold out in store of what I wanted and this was just about like right before COVID when I was purchasing the on the go tote and so I was like I really want something so I can like drop my receipts drop little small goods and things of that nature the reason why i really love this is because it zips all the way around and then goes to the side so my fear is <laughs> i'm a little rough so when the bag stops here there's always that tension so because the bag goes all the way down and drops the side you see how it opens up you guys i really do love this so i would highly recommend this etuyer voyage i would recommend it again it's, it's in the pochette family so if you happen to go to louis vuitton or something like that or you call just say you're looking for the pochette with the um with the zip that goes halfway down i know sometimes the pronunciations are a little murderous but um this bag we well it's not even a bag but i guess you can use it as like a little clutch you know what i'm saying um i think it retail for like six or something like that i don't really remember because when i got it like I said, I got this and I also got that. I just wanted something to just kind of keep my things on there. I don't regret the buy whatsoever. But yeah, this is pretty much everything, you guys. If I was going to give you a tip on anything, I would say um, go into the store, try the bag on. Make sure you do love it. Make sure it's something that you want. And even if you're ready to purchase, try to step back real quick. Wait about a month or two to see if you're still thinking about it. Because that's happened to me where I see a bag. I'm like, oh my God, I want it, I want it, I want it. And then I'm like, okay, give yourself a month. You know, if you still want it, then get it. And a month will go by and I'm like, I ain't even thinking about that thing anymore. And I won't buy anything. So that's how I control my spending. Especially with me like being by myself and there's no one to say no. Like, <laughs> I'm like, girl, shut out. I got to tell myself to sit down. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. This is pretty much my entire bag collection. I think now it's some really, really great staples. And don't forget get comment down below girl's best friend and i will just pick someone at random hopefully you are active because if you're not active i'm just gonna bypass i'm just gonna be honest i would like to give it to someone who's actually like been on the page and been um active you can either keep it or if you want to you can try to resell it and then take that money and add it to something that you actually want Whatever you do with it, it's your property now. I don't really care what you do with it, darling. So definitely don't forget to comment, girl's best friend. And if you aren't already, definitely feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm still going to be doing the giveaway for the camera. I was going to purchase it and ship it, but I was like, no, I'm going to pick someone. I'm going to purchase it and just have it sent directly to you so I don't have to buy it and then pay for shipping. So I'm ready to go. I don't know, maybe like... Uh, Christmas day no you know what two days before Christmas I'll do the video and um, I'll do the giveaway for the camera and then I'll pick someone in the comments and that'll be that but I'll see and talk to you guys next time bye because I know you guys so well I am leaving this dress linked down below if you are interested it is from the store SOS or ASOS I want to say it was under $20 all right have a good day you guys bye